So let us solve this question. A constant force acts on an object of mass 5 kg for a duration of 2 seconds. It increases the object's velocity from 3 meter per second to 7 meter per second. Find the magnitude of the applied force. Now if this force was applied for a duration of 5 seconds, what would have been the final velocity of the object? Okay. <coughs> hmm? Now while solving these problems, you should be having a fair idea of the, of the new Newton's second law of motion. Fine. So, Newton's second law of motion and and the the equations of motion. We understand and the equations of motion. Fine. Now, what are the equations of motion? They are V is equal to U plus AT, S is equal to UT plus half AT square and V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. So, this is the first, this is the second, this is the third. Correct? we have to understand that A could be positive or negative. When is it positive? When the velocity and the external force are in the same direction. When velocity and the external force are in the same direction when velocity and the external force are in the same direction the acceleration is positive this is negative when the velocity and acceleration are in opposite directions directions okay so what happens to a stone that is being thrown up while it was going up the velocity is this and and we always assume the earth to be here so what is happening the earth is pulling it towards itself Newton's law of gravitation that we'll do the next chapter as right. So this is trying to pull it back. So so the so the force is in this direction, and we know that acceleration is equal to force upon mass. If F is equal to m a, then a is force upon m. So obviously the acceleration is in this direction. So this value of G acceleration will be taken as negative, negative. Now the stone goes up, okay, it, it maybe stops here and now it starts coming down. So it, it stops here, okay, say, say it stops here and starts coming down. So what happens? My acceleration is in this direction, my force is in this direction. So my acceleration is also in this direction, is it not? This, this direction, what is my the direction of my velocity? That is also in the same direction. So what will happen? The, the acceleration will be taken as positive. Now whenever the acceleration is negative, the velocity in that direction will reduce. Does it reduce? You throw a stone up, the acceleration is down, the velocity is up, it is A is taken as negative and it will be considered a deceleration or a retardation so the velocity will gradually become less 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 and less and at a point it goes and stops then it turns while falling back what happens the velocity increases the acceleration is positive 
so the so the force and the velocity they are in the same direction so it increases 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 and and comes and hits the ground back that is the positive acceleration correct now now what happens so what happens is is they say that the velocity has increased from 3 to 7 so i know what i know u as 3 meter per second v as 7 meter per second and time as 2 seconds check this check this u v t and I want A because that will give me A, that will give me the magnitude of acceleration. So, U V T are given, A is unknown, which is the equation that involves U V T and A? The first, the first. So, I plug it in, in the first equation. So, it is 7 is equal to 3 plus A into 2, 4 is 2A, A is equal to 2 meter per second square. So, that is our acceleration, you understand, that is our acceleration. It's now, the moment I know the acceleration, I get to know the force. Which force will be causing so much of acceleration when acting on a mass of 5 kg? That force is, that force is. Five into two that is ten Newton. You see a ten Newton of force divided by five kg that will give me two meter per second square. Is it not? That gives me two meter per second square. Okay. We get the point. So it's two meter per second square. So I get the force F is equal to sorry F is equal to 10 Newton huh? 10 Newton now what if the force was applied for a duration of 5 seconds what will be the velocity now I know that acceleration will still remain the same is it not acceleration is 2 meter per second square my u is 3 meter per second 3 meter per second v is being asked t is 5 second so which which equation which equation first this is 5 second so from the first equation of motion from the first equation of motion we get v is equal to u plus a t so v is equal to 3 plus 2 into 5 so that is equal to 13 meter per second that is 13 meter per second so it will attain a velocity of 13 meter per second so you should understand while solving these questions we should have in our mind firmly fitted the first law of motion uh, sorry the the second law of motion and the 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 equations of motion fine so let us solve the next question